think we are good to go. <laughs> We've instantly come into a match pause, so it's a great little thing for me because I can actually tweet out that we've gone live on Twitch. See, I finished, well, I, I technically haven't finished work, but I finish work and I instantly like start doing stuff like this, so it, I, I have no time to prepare at all. This is... Our, I'm sorry, uh, final match versus the uh, final match of regular ESEA at the start versus at fast right on Inferno. We want the red thing. Sorry, I am literally tweeting this out right now because I just ran on and <sighs> straight from work. So. Bam. Hashtag CS go. Hashtag team size. Hashtag. I'm also not a caster, just so you know, so this is kind of a watch along. Not really a casting gig. Um, right, there we go. Versus less rights on Inferno. My phone keeps doing this stupid capital V. So, we've taken the first round, so that's definitely a plus. We did sit on with Lame that entire round, who did not die. Um, did get a kill though, so hopefully you saw that. I literally wasn't watching at all, and it looks like they're playing slowly in their own spawn. T's waiting to see if they can... Alright, it looks like it's going to be a B push. This all loses his head instantly. Some good nade damage there. <laughs> and Vampo coming through with a... Frickin' 3k, and we've already got mid control. So, straight away, that's two rounds on the board. Nice and simple. Was against an eco, though, so eco frags. You expect that. Although, one thing to note is that this level, um, pistol rounds can go against people with rifles. It's all to do with your your tactics and how you execute stuff. Um, the amount of times we've taken pistol rounds against a full rifle buy this season has honestly astounded me. So uh, it is something to bear in mind when you're playing against pistols. It is not a done deal. Some aggression coming from Kizzle. Looks like there's going to be some sort of an A push going on. <laughs> Lame. Ah, he's been smoked off. Can V1 do anything about this? He's also smoked off. So this is a full retake coming in. Mystic finds Lame. And V1 finds Mystic. So these guys are just going to hunker down on site now. And it's going to be a save. Oh! Vampo deciding not to save. Interesting. I think maybe he decided to go down mid to try and get some of those exit frags, but got met by whoever killed him. Bit of backstory, so we're currently top 20 in ESCA main. Last rights have a good record. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it is right now. I can check. Uh, if I just do that, and you can see my entire friends list, so have fun looking at that one. They're eight and two currently in the league, and we're eight and three. So we'll be looking to give them a loss, and obviously giving ourselves a win because we want to be higher than 20th right now. 
Um, the top 48 in ESCA main go to playoffs, so we need to make sure we're hitting those playoffs to be able to get into advanced. But now, oh, very aggressive down mid. Lame already taking out eyes. And Mystic from behind that. Oh, okay. I was going to say there is another T up there, but there's actually not. There is someone in under, though. So he has found him as well. Lame just completely destroying. There's no... Absolutely zero respect going on right now. As Matty loses his life, and that's another round on the board. So, right now the feeling is interesting. We've got a quasi buy coming in from the T's. So we can sit on board with these guys and have a look at what they're doing. I think some casters, they do the auto director thing. But uh, I have no idea how to do that actually now. It is on automatically normally, but... V1 taking some damage already, but not quite as much as Monterey, who is mon monstery. God, yeah, I can see how the casters get these names wrong. Monstery, who <laughs> is already down to 13 HP, which is not ideal. We're only, well, uh, about a minute into the round. They're only going to find Kizzle if they come up to B, so he's going to need to put in some work here if they're fast enough because there is a rotate coming on from Vampo who's basically now already here so they've taken a bit too long on this execute super slow with this one eyes just staring at a wall about to set up his smoke Wordbreaker gets killed by Matty in the meantime not ideal, probably got shot in the back or something. Got V1 waiting, boosted in that smoke, but loses his life. Kizzle! Kizzle was just hidden! They didn't even check back sight. That is insane. Now Vampo is the last one here, and will take out Matty. So that's another round on the board. How last rights, uh, th this is interesting. Last rights are meant to be one of the best teams in the league right now. One thing that I have noticed is ESCA main is a very competitive league, but also some of these teams that are at the top get a very, very easy bracket. Because not everyone doesn't play everyone. There's 144 teams in the league. If everyone played everyone, it would take forever. But some of these teams at the very top um, I'd say excluding the top five seem to have had a very very easy go of it and they've been playing against teams that have lost a lot of games so with these leagues it is a, it is a bit of luck of the draws Matty takes out Worldbreaker with a beautiful headshot obviously we didn't see that but Oh, and Lame takes out Matty. Nice. Lame should be able to find... Yeah. <laughs> and takes out Mystic as well. What is that name? Rick... Rick... Rixi Mazinka? Mazinka? Yeah. I do not envy casters, man. These names are ridiculous. At least our names are easy, right? Kizzle, Lame, V1, Vampo, Worldbreaker. Very easy to pronounce, easy to read. You know exactly what they say. This stuff on the right hand side right now Mystic and Eyes, easy. Monsterery, yeah, okay. Matty's easy. Although he shoved the four in there. Um, and then Rixi Mazinka, I'm guessing is his actual name, or maybe it's his cat's name, who knows? 
that's just not ideal for a caster to say. And I'm not even I'm not a caster, obviously. Maybe a, a professional caster wouldn't struggle with that, but I don't know. These guys that do the majors and that, obviously they're saying the same names over and over again. If they had people like this, <laughs> you want a short name to say so you can get on to the next sentence, not some big ass word. <laughs> There's some crazy clips already in this game. Okay, it looks like it was a tactical pause, as it was quite a short one. Last right's trying to get their stuff together. And we're off again. Five to one right now in favour of us. It is a CT sided map, so you can't get too hype over this. Kizzle throwing out some nades, trying to keep them back a little bit. Mystic already at the top of Banana though. As Lame gets taken out, probably... Oh, top right of mid. So he didn't even push down mid this time. Just three man stack on B right now. Oof! As they drop the bomb, World Breaker finds... Wow! And Kizzle pushes through, and Wardbreaker takes another one. This is extremely aggressive play. I can't even keep up with it. Like Vampo's already back in that smoke. Kizzle's rushing through the smoke. There is no respect being shown here. Will he find the guy in CT? Ooh, there we go. And Matt is down again. So I'm honestly bemused right now. Is there a way that I can get auto freaking casting on? Because this is uh, impossible to follow right now. Absolutely impossible to follow. Is it down the bottom? Overview. Turn on auto director Z. Right. Auto director will hopefully help me because <laughs> this is impossible. It's a beautiful tiger tooth right there. Karambit tiger tooth. A bit of a crappy minware, but still a beautiful knife. Nice and shiny. Looks like an A execute's gonna be coming out from the side of last rights. This is actually really quite nice because I don't have to worry about changing players. Yeah, definitely a big A execute. And there's a rotate coming out from us, so team size should. Oof was lame! Jesus! Doing some mega damage. Mystic chilling with that orc. He's taken out a few, but Kizzle ends his day. And V1's grabbed the orc for Wildbreaker. So another round on the board. 7-1 and one in round 9. We've almost closed out this round already. <coughs> These are some insane scenes right now. We've come out with fire. Absolute fire. But nothing is ever over until the fat lady sings, so you can't guarantee anything right now. Lame. Oof. Saw three, though. Was flashed. Not sure how much vision he actually got on those. But that's uh, the whole T team now up. Banana. And there's going to be a boost come in. Oh, decide who's doing it, lads. Come on. Jesus Christ. Kissel there to meet three. Can he get the fourth? No, he can't. Lame's there to clear it up though. Another beautiful round. That's eight on the board and that is first round team size. Once you get to eight rounds, there's no way of the opposing team coming back. So that is first half going in favor of us. This is a bloodbath right now. Absolute bloodbath. Incredible scenes. What the hell sort of a run boost is that? Oh my god. And he's legged someone. So it's actually worked. It's 
sometimes these guys, they're absolutely insane. Okay, Mystic manages to push that smoke though and find Kizzle. Kizzle had absolutely no idea that he was there. Oh, and V1 loses his head to Monsterary. Monsterary. Mon monster. I'm just going to call him Monster. Oof! He's good with this Deagle. He, he's got some stuff going for him. Seems to know where World Breaker is, and that's just down to Vampo, who should probably save at this point. Only has 1.6k in his bank right now, although plenty of money on the team. We want to stay on board with Vampo. He's been seen, uh, and he didn't see the guy either, so <laughs> completely blind. But it's fine, so that's one more round on for last right, so 8 to 2 right now. Yeah, Vampo with just a submachine gun there. Not sure it was the best idea to go for that one, but these guys know a hell of a lot more about the game than I do, that's for sure. Got two guys with no head armor right now. A lot of spam going into this smoke. Auto director taking me all the way back to lame and back up to Vampo. Ooh, Vampo with a beautiful nade there onto Mystic. Shuts down that immediate threat at the top of Banana. The rest of the team chilling at the bottom of Banana. It looks like there's a push coming in. A lot of damage done on both sides. Will they expect lame? They don't. And that's another round on the board for team size. Nine to two right now. Nine to two. This is the best day ever. <laughs> we had such a bad day two days ago. We got two losses in one night. It was it felt like the apocalypse because we've barely lost any games. So this is obviously the the vengeance as we go into playoffs after this. This is the last game that we will play of the regular season. As well, Breaker goes down to 15 HP already, getting a little bit too happy in mid there. <laughs> and gets flashed by Lame. <laughs> okay, interesting. Nice little team flash there. Oh, Matthew will lose his life to V1. But if you want, we'll get traded. Wordbreaker still hiding. Now he's come out. He takes out Eyes, who has managed to get lame. So that was a beautiful trade. Monstery. Managing to find Wordbreaker through that smoke. And now it's a 2v2. And all the players are here. Is Last Rite's Crossfire going to be good enough? That's two very weak players right there. Can Mystic clutch up and beat Vampo in a 1v1 right now? They know where each other are, I think. I can't see Vampo's POV. Mystic will take it with the slightly more powerful rifle. No headshots coming in from either side there. Does seem to be a bit of a bit of a carry going on here. So 14, 14, 12, 8, and 5. So quite a difference in the killing ratio there. Although V1 and Vampo seem to have the worst weapons every now and then. Only a Deagle on V1 and only a Deagle on Kizzle. Vampo's not going to find anything with that nade, unfortunately. Slightly different tactic coming in from last rights this round, as they normally take that banana as you've seen, but looks like they're playing a little bit slower. A beautiful, beautiful little peak. Really got the boost down on this map. I believe this is one of our best maps to be honest. We seem to win most of our games. 
Vampo will get the info for two. No point in smoking that one. Drops the smoke at the top to slow him down, I'm assuming. Gives him no visuals into the site either. Ugh. Mystic just gonna flash through. Some balls on him, but Lane is there to clean him and eyes up. The guy with the long ass name manages to trade and get lame though. So 3v2 right now. And we do have a player, Kizzle, right up. Oh my god. Oh god, he almost choked that one. And that's that's another round on the board for team size. I completely lost where I was there. So it's now gonna be ten to three. This is absolute dominance being shown right now. Absolute dominance. <clears throat> this is what you get from practicing together. Something that we don't have with our new roster right now, I don't think. They've not been together too long and they're splitting between their actual league teams and the official roster that we've got, which is playing in all the tournaments. So it's, it's a bit of a 50-50 right now um, split, so there's not much practice going on. I'm going to fake that banana with one of our smoke tactics. I've forgotten what the hell they're called. Smokes for noobs. It looks like it's going to be an A hit though. A fast A hit as well. Unless they wrap through banana. Oh, through banana. Through, through arch, but they don't. So it's straight on to A. There are three players of team size waiting here. And they are doing damage. Down to just one player on the last rights team now. As Monstery loses his life. And that is 11 to 3. One round left in this half. If we can get this on the board, this is going to be pretty much over. You can never completely count a team out, but right now this is... I'm going to be able to go to bed and go to the gym at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is, this is quick. Blame, doing as usual. Taking that aggressive mid. Beautiful flash as well from Vampo. Absolutely beautiful assist there, giving Lame the opportunity to go down there and take out two easy kills as if it was against bots. Used to that guy being under Mexico now, but right now there is no one and they're both just sat in their spawn. Last rights. Being read their last rights for this half at least right now. Super slow. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we kind of know where they are. Oof, Vampo is going to take out ice through the smoke. Didn't see anything at all. Are they going to expect the next... Yes, they saw his leg. Oh my god. What is that play? They didn't move at all. That's insane. 12 to 3 at half. Absolute dominance right now. Absolute dominance. Could not be prouder. Just waiting on Matty there. There we go. Should be going into round two very soon. Okay, switching it up. Last rights on CT side. Team side on T, or the kind of played CT as if it was T at points. Shouldn't be too much of a difference in aggression here. The question is, can last rights deal with it, or is it going to be too much and overwhelm them? Let's find out. Only four rounds away from taking this game right now. As Kizzle takes a smoke and a Molotov. No, actually the, the Molotov has gone to Wardbreaker. So Kizzle just taking that smoke. A clear difference in fragging right now between both teams. Absolutely massive difference. Back on board with that beautiful Tiger Tooth. Stat track as well. Nice. Good choice. 
It's a good, like, what, $900, if not more? Don't know how much they're worth right now, but this is a very fast B play. Less strikes. Ah, eyes getting damaged from that Molotov. B1 will lose his life. Vampo loses his life. So does Kizzle. It's now 3v2. A lot of road a lot of rotation coming in and a lot of trades coming in. And last rights will take that just a little bit too quick. The smokes didn't really help either. Gave last rights a bit too much cover there. Unable to find heads. <laughs> And that's a, actually a beautiful buy from Last Rites as well. With four... What are they? MP7s? Max 7s What are they? I don't know what they're called. I honestly never use them. Uh, doesn't even say what it is either. Whatever weapon this is. I've not played CS in so long now. Oh my god. I don't really use it. Mac 10. Mac 10. There we go. So, um, yeah, buying up the Mac 10s, beautiful buy for anti eco for sure. Yeah, and that's why, because they just absolutely shred. <laughs> and the round's over. That's what Mac 10s are for. They're insane. Are they going to keep them, though? That's the question. I think they're going to have to. But against the full buy? Yeah, so Mystic's bought up. So he's got rid of his. But still three on that last right side. Not sure that's a wise decision. Let's see how this round plays out. If they lose this, then that is wasted money. Well, I suppose... Uh, is it wasted money? It's not really wasted money. But it's a wasted round when they could have just bought up. not nice to see. So I've traded out one. That's two. Oh, and that's a nice trade from Eyes as well. So V1 and World Breaker, last two remaining. Looks like they're going for a B hit. And there's a rotation coming out. So if they're slow enough, they could get this site if they just take out one, but Rixie's gonna be right here. V1, expecting it though, and Rixie will lose his life. There's still a player sitting in that construction though that I'm sure they haven't found yet. V1 is there to cover though. And V1 does cover, but doesn't find the kill. World Breaker has seen eyes who loses his life so they know exactly where the last one is mystic pretty good at these 1v2s can v1 outsmart him that is the question no he can't so mystic will take that one that's quite surprising i would have thought v1 would win that with that ak and I'm assuming Mystic will go and take that orb, yes. So I have the six right now. Um, not one T side round has gone our way so far. We're only four rounds in though, so not too much opportunity. As Lame loses his life to eyes instantly, World Breaker also goes down. Maybe need a bit of a switch up on pace here. Why is Vampo out there on his own? That's insane. 
Kizzle down to 5 HP has been naded through his life. And V1 loses his life, so Kizzle is the last one remaining. 5 HP total. He is hidden in this corner though. Is Rixie gonna. Yes, he is. Okay. Mad. Okay. So there needs to be a bit of a pause and a strat change up here as they are at seven rounds. This is very doable right now for last rights. But no pause is coming in. <coughs> so we are on an eco round again. Well, a bit of a quasi buy actually, but some firepower on Wildbreaker. They need to be careful with this mid aggression. Right now, it's a lot of one on one, as in they're really trusting in their aim. Which I think is meaning that they're getting traded out too easily. Isis got the info there. Also takes down Vampo. Worldbreaker there to do some damage back though. Need to be careful of that arch side. A rotate could come in here. They don't. They're kind of ping ponging around that boiler. As a jump peek is coming in. Worldbreaker taking out Monstery. The teamwork on this is insane, man. Some of the teamwork we've seen during the season is absolutely incredible. As I say, that Wardbreaker shoots Lame in the back, but it's fine. <laughs> Lame manages to find that kill, and all of a sudden it's a 3-2 advantage to team side. Only one player r remaining on B, who's about to find two. And gets traded out. So, it's up to Matty. One player left. They should assume that he's on the A site. Kizzle is probably going to expect someone coming up banana. As Lame is very deep in their spawn. If Kizzle dies, this is going to be... Okay, Lame's definitely hurt him. He's going to try 1v1 Lame there. That's a beautiful tactic from, from Maddie. He's trying to get the 1v1s, he's putting up walls of smoke to protect him. <laughs> and Kizzle will win that, win that ring around the Rosie with Matty. It's amazing watching some of these like almost semi-pro players play the game. Because they just think of things so differently. Like, how can I get this 1v1? Okay, I put a smoke down here. It covers me off from the site. If there's someone in CT, I can just 1v1 them. And if I get that 1v1, then I've got more of a chance of being able to get the site. It's, yeah. It's not how I think when I play. I'm just like, oh, there's a person there. Let's kill them. <laughs> Completely different. As Vampo, again, a little bit too happy peeking that. And gets taken down by Monstery. Still going to be a B hit though by the looks of it. Not phased by that AWP. Although it is a three man stack and there's a boosted man. Oof. Kizzle. Oh, that was a bad idea brother. A very bad idea. Woohoo. Monster he gets taken down by Worldbreaker. The better AWP on the server let's face it. Not biased at all. Are they going to expect a man, is that in dark, a man in dark, and then we've got one, the other side of that smoke, Lame will find him, and only Eyes is close to the site right now, although he's about to group up with Matty, as Worldbreaker hits him through the smoke, what the hell? Complete blind shot there. Lame will finish Matty off and Eyes on 16 HP because of that insane smoke shot. Don't throw another smoke, it's a bad idea, brother. <laughs> You're gonna lose your life. Oh, Jesus. And Lame will take down Eyes as well. 14 to 7. One more for match point. 
and then one more after that to get this done. Last rights have taken this to seven, which is a uh, normally the score that other teams get to when they play us. To be fair, unless they beat us, so. I'd expect them to get around this score, but they are a good team, last rights. Their record is very good in the league, currently better than ours. Although, we're about to make ours a little bit better than theirs, if we win this. Every time, every time we peak that mid, <laughs> Vampire, he's super happy with those peaks, man. He just gets the damage instantly. World Breaker looking for another one of those shots through the wall. Seems to be good without a scope on that rifle. And Kizzle will find Rixie and Mystic. World Breaker will find Eyes. Why we're still spectating Vampo, I couldn't tell you. And the B site is completely open. Vampo not caring. They are chasing down this last kill, I think. Yeah. Vampo will take out Maddie, and that's another round on the board. Match point number one. Can Last Right get more than seven rounds right now? There is a weird theme over the season where seven rounds is what teams seem to get to. So we may be about to add to that seven round tally right now. Very quick up banana as usual. Although smoke has come out to separate Kizzle who will just kill Mystic. And World Breaker manages to get Monster Ray in mid. I'm assuming that was in mid. Eyes will lose his life to V1 as he comes out of apps. V1 will find Matty as well. And there's one player left for last rights, and he will lose his life, and that is game. That was super fast. 38 minutes to finish that game. What the absolute F was that? Okay, well, <laughs> in the league, we are 9-3, and three, so that was the most insane game I've ever watched in my life. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys during playoffs.